Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Forest with Malaise Gaming. So we just got the start of a new day, drink of, uh, some of our water, we're just gonna go the easy route and eat one of these power snacks, and then we're gonna climb up this rope, and I think one of the enemies that we killed yesterday is, is still caught in the snare trap. I can hear him, I think, swaying down there. So we should be able to get some bones from that. Uh, maybe not. Okay. I thought he'd still be down there. Alright. So let's take this little push cart here. Rotate it around. So I have had some time to think since the last episode. And I do believe... I know I had some logs over here that I didn't use. I do believe that I'm going to attempt to fortify that new uh, location that I just started. I really like the idea of having that treehouse right there on, with those rocks near it. I'm just going to fill up a cart with wood real quick. Push it over there. Alright. The trees seem to give a lot less wood than I remember. I seem to be having to cut down a lot more trees. Maybe it's just because I'm cutting down smaller ones or something. Kind of scanning, make sure everything's alright. Up a whole bunch. Freaking windy today. All right, let's finish this off. Things fully, fully loaded, huh? I do need to take two carts back. Yeah, I'll grab this load and come back. All right, so I'm gonna push this to the construction site. Those boxes don't look like they've been opened. So I'm gonna get those on the way back. Well, am I not gonna head back? Maybe I'm not gonna head back, so I'll open them now. I need some booze. Oh, I just got batteries. I better need booze, cloth. Cloth is nice for rope. Yeah, I need booze for my arrows really badly. 
I mean, I can drink it too, but I've got water. Oh, that's true, huh? If I leave, if I don't travel to my other shelter, then I won't have any of my turtle shells. I guess I could grab one down there and then come back up here to the construction site. Oh, almost got her. All kinds of deer. Alright, I'm just gonna push this to the construction site for now. Don't even really have necessarily an idea of what I'm gonna build with it, but they don't seem to be able to destroy it or have any interest in destroying the carts, so I can just leave them all loaded up over here. I really like the view that this affords me though. And if they can't climb up on these rocks, I mean she showed the ability to move around. If they can't move around these rocks, then all I have to do is close off one side. Alright, so I'm gonna move this over to this side and I'll push it back over towards my house. Load it up. I'm gonna have to spend one more night over there because I don't have a turtle shell. And that's gonna take a decent amount of time to build something like that. So I wonder if I could build, since that's a way in, I mean, I could almost jump up right here. I mean, I could, especially if I build some amount of platform. Huh. Alright, well, let's worry about a perimeter of some kind. So if I build, can I build a rock wall? I'm just connecting the different big trees here that I think uh, I may be able to eventually get those trees to uh, have tree houses on them or basically turrets. And then I now have a what amounts to single entrance. I mean, I could probably even block that off. So I'm going to need lots of rocks, 150 rocks. So I have lots of rocks back at the other place. So it's going to take me a lot of rocks to fill this up, but I can just slowly keep working on it. So I'm going to need another platform. Right. And I've seen people build double layer walls before. So I'm fairly certain that I can stack more rocks on top. But we'll have to see. Oh, there's all kinds of rocks here. Okay, this is perfect. All right. This is going to eventually turn into my fortress by the sea. And if we build up another level, we should have a great ocean view. grabbing the sticks and rocks. I don't know if it, the game will automatically respawn the uh, cannibals that we killed, the tribe, or if they take time to respawn, so if the losses they suffered recently will actually matter, I have no idea, but we'll have to see. So we need about 135 rocks. too bad though. Coming along pretty quickly. I mean it's going to take a decent amount of time but so would building something with a, quite a amount of logs so. Where's the sun at? Directly above so we're still got some construction time. Right, I wish I could carry more rocks. I can't put them on the log sled unfortunately. Pretty nice. I have a feeling I can just hop right over it though. 
So I'm not going to put anything valuable inside. But, if I can stack them up. Oh, don't eat that, whatever it is. Uh, so now I'm hungry because I threw up. Now we're going to go for some rocks here. that noise. I hate it when I hear weird noises. I need more rocks. Oh, there's a hut right there. So I'm building my fortress right next to theirs. No wonder. You know, if I have to travel outwards every day, it might be worth it just to build on the island. But then there's no resources of any kind there either. So interestingly enough, if I do manage to capture and take over this um, area, well not capture it, but if I build a safe fortification that I can rest in, then I can make basically daily excursions into their camps around here for supplies that they may have taken from the passengers or anything like that. There's a lot of rocks around here. So I'm hoping that by blocking this off, they won't be able to climb over the wall eventually, and they won't be able to climb over the giant rocks blocking it. I'll have a stone fortress that I can use as a home of operations, base of operations. Uh, I don't like traveling out into that clearing. I really like how my house is actually built on the edge of the clearing. So I've got the ocean behind me in one direction. And I've got, you know, stones in the other direction. Alright, so I'm right next to their little hut here. While I grab these rocks. See if I can't find anything. Ooh, a feather, nice. Ooh, ropes. I don't see any of them, so take all the rope you can hold. Nice, and I saw a lizard on the beach over there. And I see, is that a rabbit? I only, oh a flare? Nice. Yeah, see like little things like that, I think the candles will collect them. Like birds almost. Just things that are shiny or interesting, they'll tend to collect them. And if I go through their camps while they're, I don't know where they go. While they're ever they're doing what they're doing during the day. Then um, maybe I can find, I can start stockpiling stuff in my stone fortress. So, I know I've been spending a lot of time just, oh, birdie. I know I've been spending a lot of time just constructing things. But I think in the long run, just having multiple areas to run and fall back to. Multiple areas where I can store things, potentially. All these things will eventually come to play. And I've had a general theme since the beginning of building them in strategically defensible positions. So instead of in the middle of clearing, I tend to put them in edges of clearings, edges of cliffs, things like that. When I can. Alright, so I'm making good progress. Still need 87 rocks, but that's maybe, you know, just over half of what I needed at the beginning. So I can probably finish it, if not today, then the next day. There's lots of potential room around here, too. To like build other things. Where's the sun? Ooh, sun's on its way down. It's alright, we'll eat an energy bar right before we leave. And that'll jump our energy right up. So we completed a pretty significant chunk of this stone wall. One, maybe a third I would say. 40%. Look at all the rocks out here though. We can get a lot done right here as long as we don't get spotted by them. 
So they got a pretty significant camp up there. But I don't want to do anything with them, uh, provoking them, until I have a safe place to fall back to. I mean, I could technically go up the rope, and I don't think they can destroy it. Maybe they can knock the tree down. Nice, I'm getting feathers like I wanted. I right, keep collecting stones. And there's lizards here, which is a different type of animal, so I can collect their pelts. That'll be nice. Still need 63 rocks. Alright, so there's a... You know, like right there, four of them. Uh, being able to, I mean, it makes sense you can only carry a certain number of rocks, but it's kind of a pain. Alright, we are right next to their camp. Go for the deer. Well, guess we're having steak tonight. And a pelt. Alright, do what you can on this. Do I want to try to stay in there tonight? Heck no. I gotta at least have the wall done, which I could easily do tomorrow. Well, if I keep building, and I go for a campfire, then I might be able to keep building into the night. And that's worth a shot. And then I can see what they can do with the rocks, so I'm gonna build it right below me. On this side. So we need to do this quick. Rocks. Alright, that's ready to go. Now we do not have a big uh, group of... We have one booze. We do not have a big group of... Uh, arrows to fire. So we're basically going to be in a defensive position this time. We're going to be hiding. And we're just going to see if we can... Uh, well, first of all, how aggressive they are. How many there are. What they are. And we're going to have campfire... We have booze if we need to drink. Tomorrow morning we can run over and get water. We're making great progress on our house. We have food to cook. Uh, but since the wall is not complete, they're going to be able to just walk around it. Gosh, there's so many rocks right here. Alright, I need 48 more rocks. It's going to be dark before we complete it, for sure. But we might actually be able to finish it like while we're here. can't jump over that wall. Maybe they can't either. I need to keep my ears open and if I hear them I need to run for the uh, uh, rope. Alright, there's got five more rocks. So I only need 38. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and eat a, can, a bar. That's going to boost up my stats. Could run out here and grab some more rocks. There's sort of a whole bunch right here. Alright, drop them in here. I'm in frantic build mode now. Jeez, go, 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 go. I need 23 more after this one. Gonna get another bar. Alright. Let's try to get this wall done. I need 18 more rock. I'm not gonna go for the deer. I don't think I can carry any more pelts anyway. Alright. It's gonna get dark any second now. I just want to see if this is going to hold them out or not. Number one, are they going to be able to jump over the rock wall? Uh, number two, can they just climb over the rocks that I have 
behind my base. So we'll have to see. I need eight more rocks. After this load. Alright. There's a whole bunch right here. Go, 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 go. Alright, I think that's as many as I can carry. So I have five out of eight. I'm gonna need three more. Alright, there's three. Boom. Alright, we finished. Alright, so let's get inside. There's our perimeter. It goes from this side over here all the way around. It's just not very tall. So we're gonna light this fire. Throw a couple extra things of leaves on it. Now we've got 10 sticks. So we can't hold any more sticks. Then we got leaves. Alright, so we can't sleep for a long time. But the good news is we're up above them, so they shouldn't be able to get to us. And my goal here is to not have to fight them at all. I don't really have anything that they can take from me down there. And I have booze if I need to drink, so I'm not going to you know, um, die of dehydration. But I'm going to save it, because I would prefer to use that for the fire arrows. So if I can make it back to my other camp tomorrow, then what I'll do is uh, load up on... Well, I don't really need to load up on sticks and rocks. They're everywhere around here. So yeah, number one, we'll have to see, can they get over the walls? And then if they can't get over the walls, can they attack the walls? And then if they do attack the walls, can they actually damage them? And how long will they survive, etc. So let's see, if I go to the rock wall again... I wonder if it'll let me put a wall on top. Oh, it will. 149 rocks will double the height of it. And then it's probably the height as me. Man size height. Well, average height I should say. 5 feet, 6 feet tall. So I may need to add another block of it on the end over there to make sure they can't run around the edge. This side actually looks pretty good. But this is a real, like, fortress. Like, this feels nigh invincible. I mean, I got a rock right there. Rock on both sides. And then I got trees around me that I can build platforms on. So I'll have a raised fortress. I'll have the lowered fortress that's contained within stone. It says I'm getting thirsty, but that's okay. Getting thirsty and dehydrating to death are two different things. I gotta be honest, when I know that the camp is right over there, I mean, I can see... Can I see it? Maybe those are clouds. When I know that the enemy is that close... Yeah, it's going to be tough for me to want to go out there at night time. Oh, I hear them. Gosh, I'm always hungry. These snacks don't seem to work very well. Alright, we have five feathers. So let's make... Arrow. Alright, so at least we got something. I don't know if it'll actually kill them, though. Alright, and I have to see if I build that wall up too high, will I be able to get in myself? I think I can. I mean, if worst case scenario, I can just build a treehouse and then have a rope go to the inside and then connect it so it has a way in. The, but let's see, rock wall, can I get it to fit down there somewhere? There it is. Oh, where's it going to? Is it going to the outside? It's not really letting me connect it over there, so I wonder if that means that I'm probably just out of range, to be honest. All 
How long until we can rest? Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. She's right below us. In fact, she sounds like she might be in. Oh, where is she? There's two of them right there. She's behind us. Alright, I want to see if they can get inside here. There's two of them right there. Gosh, the noise they make is ridiculous. So I don't know if this is from a different part of the island. Or if I... Oh, man. Alright, let's see if that wall stops him. I know you guys want me. Hey, guys. Three of them right there. Oh! Did he just... Did he just jump over the wall? I think he just vaulted that that wall. I He vaulted that wall. He is on the inside now. Oh my gosh. Well that answers that. Hey bud. I gotta give you props. I did not expect you to be able to hop over that wall like that. You just... Oh my gosh. You just ninja leapt over that. That's really unfortunate. Well, if you can't get out of there, I'm gonna kill you in the morning. But, with... Okay, so yeah, that pretty much confirms I need the wall to be at least one more level. Oh, did you just run through the tree? Will you jump? I know, well, obviously you'll jump to get in. Will you jump to get up to me? These things are ridiculous. They're so fast. Oh, another one just hopped in. They can definitely jump. They can definitely jump in here. That noise they make is pretty crazy. Alright, I can sleep while they're here. I don't think they can get in. I know, bud. Getting really hungry and thirsty. I'm gonna have to eat another one of these. So I can scare them off of the flare, but, I mean, they're not really doing anything. The other thing that worries me is if I just go to sleep, what's to say that they won't learn how to just climb up the rope, you know? Uh, so there's at least two of you up here. Yeah, I don't know how I, how I, I mean, obviously on the first vessel, or the first turn, first day, I, mean, I slept on the ground. No idea how that managed to work out. Uh, I think I'm going to have to probably drink this booze. I'm gonna start like literally dehydration. I still can't go to sleep for a while. Well, I'll see if I can stop harassing them. They obviously can't jump up here, but they can jump over the wall. I and mean, they're right next to each other. I could probably kill those two just by burning them. One interesting thing is I noticed that they're willing to jump over the wall, but they didn't climb over the rocks. So I wonder if that wall is correct. Good gosh, they're right there. 
And the fire went out. It didn't last very long at all. Or the wind blew it out. If that's a thing. Alright, we can almost go to sleep. Hey, bud. So yeah, if we can get by without having to get more water until we head back to our other camp. <laughs> hmm. They've been all over me since the very beginning. I'm gonna have to drink the booze. I might as well eat another candy bar. No more fire arrows. This is gonna make a water skin. With. It's not tree sap. Leaves? No. Is it two deer skin, maybe? Did they leave? No, definitely not. Sorry, everyone. It's watching. I feel like I'm kind of stuck. My campfire went out. And there's at least two of the monster creatures stuck in my position below me. And I just used my booze, so I can't make any fire. <laughs> Gosh, they're so angry. <laughs> I tried to cut down on him. Whoa. He looks like he could jump the second level, too. Good gosh, really? Oh, where did he go? Oh, yeah, they can run right through there. Oh, well, that might be the end of my wall. Dang. Well, let's go to sleep, see what happens. I only managed to get out. Alright, what time is it? Oh, it looks like maybe 9, 10 in the morning. Alright, they managed to get out. So they can obviously get right around through there. But, I think we can maybe fix that. If we go to build and go to our wall. Where's the wall at? Go. No. From there. Come out to there. Into the wall. Into the rock itself. I think that's the clue. Alright, and then we'll have to build a second level. Well, let's finish that rock first. Alright, so collect some more rocks. I think we this mission today is I need to get a turtle shell. Well, they can obviously clear that fence or that rock wall, but they obviously can't get any much, very much further than that. Uh, so let me finish just building this little section of wall, and then we need to go get a turtle shell. Head back up here, and we will have. We can cook meat really easily. So what I'm more worried about is we need to be able to get water. Like, if it rains, I'd like to have a turtle shell over here, just in case. And then we can continue building the second level of the wall. Once that's up, and then I feel safe, then we don't have to worry about what time of day we're out at. We can just uh, continue to do things inside of our stone fortress. Because I'm hoping, and this is just speculation at this point, but I'm hoping that the enemy won't be able to just beat down the stone walls. Or if they will, it will give me plenty of time to react. We'll see. Alright, there we go. Second level of wall. 
So there's still going to be a little bit of an outcropping there, but let's see. Flying over the cliff. Alright, so just collecting no rocks now. Can't carry more than five at a time, and we need another 161 for the wall. Alright, well, what we're gonna do now is make our way down to the beach. Careful. Good gosh. This seems like a suicide. I'm gonna get a turtle shell. I'm gonna grab the rope from the boat. Make sure I get all the rocks I need down here. Alright, where are my turtles at? Oh, there's birds down here, huh? Alright, while I'm waiting for the turtles, I'm going for birds. kinds of bird feathers where'd you go grab his head it's not good all right the turtles are coming in now can't carry any more rocks oh here's one I just need your shell bud Turtle shell collected, covered in blood, washed in the water. Okay, I'm washed in the water. Alright, there's another bird. Feathers, feathers. I can't even get to that. Good gosh, it's just getting carried away. Oh, yes, what the? Can't grab them. Sometimes I just feel like I can't get them. Alright, sun's pretty high up in the sky. So this is a great place for feathers. I have 23 feathers now. Although the booze is the problem, not the feathers, so... All right, now what I have to do, since I have my turtle shell and I've washed off, is I have to go back to my old camp and I have to get some food and water. I can't climb right now. Well, water is the biggest thing, because I have so much food, I just have to cook it on the fire. So we're just going to run back to our first house, which is way over here. Let's see if we can't see anything while we're here at the airplane. Well, let's go inside, because there's booze there. Oh, that. Wow, okay. Slingshot graphics. Or physics. Can we not get back in after we come out? Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, gosh, they're here. Get upstairs. Oh, well, gosh. Alright, well, I'm fine now. I'm fine now. I've got the sling traps down there. I've got my stash of arrows. I can drink water now. Really? Really? I got meat on there. Hanging some other meat on this thing. Although I have a feeling they'll probably just break in and take it. Let's drink some water. Alright, this is gonna be done soon. Don't have any 
Don't have anything I can actually use. Alright, so I'm f all good on food and water. So are they still here? Alright. Those are my bones. I'm gonna grab some more arrows. Oh yeah, they are still here. Well, I have nine arrows and I've got... 23 feathers, so I can make quite a few. They're gonna keep me trapped here. Unless I fight them off. Let's see, I've got that there. So that's my new uh, establishment way off there in the distance where the three construction sites are. So let's see if I can get over on this rope bridge. Where is she? I kind of want to make a run for it. Alright, I'm making a run for it. Alright, I'm running as fast as I can towards my new house. And if I need to, I'm just going to jump up and climb up top. But if they're not following me, then instead, I'm going to focus on building up that rock wall. I think it's blocked off, but they can still jump over it, so I need to get inside. I also want to build that turtle thing immediately, so if it rains, I can utilize it. Otherwise, I may have to make a trip back to my other shelter every single day. Alright, I think I'm gonna ditch him. Phew. Alright, now I have to make sure they can't get through here or I'll have to build a rock wall there as well. But I'm gonna go to build and I'm gonna build it right here in the corner. Done. Alright, so that's nice. Alright, back to building with sticks and rocks. Alright, I don't think they'll be able to get over once this is built. And since this one is, I feel, much more secure than the wooden house, I feel like maybe I can build a guard on this one and uh, have like blueberry bushes and things like that. Much more stable. We'll have to see. And there's birds here so I can build up a real collection of arrows. And everything I've got at the other one I can always go collect and bring over here if I need to. I like being able to jump over those rocks to get into the fortress back here. It's actually really easy for me. We'll have to see if they can do it as well. I'm just trying to get as much of this construction done as I can. for rocks constantly. I'll also kind of keep an ear out just in case I hear that shriek. That's kind of, I think they have, um, I don't know, it just seems like the shriek ones is like a different type. Like maybe a scout or like a non, a non fighting type almost. Uh, they don't seem as aggressive and instead of just attacking you they try to call for others. So, I don't know. There's all kinds of deer around here too. I could probably just sit up on top with the shelters and shoot them to be honest. And I want them to look into building a platform, but I think this rock wall is the biggest priority right now. If I complete this, then I can build a platform pretty much at will. I want to be able to get this secure and then uh, next day or tonight I want to see if I can keep the keep all of them out. Let's see if I can go a whole night with them getting inside the rock wall. The problem is I have no water uh, at this location so it might be kind of interesting since I don't have any booze either.
I just stopping to walk for a minute to kind of listen to my surroundings. If I can hear like any of the little babies and their whimpers or the mom screeches or uh, anything like that. Great on this wall. Almost got it to the next tree. Nice lizard skin. And some meat. What I'm really interested to see is if the big, like, four armed spider things will be able to break through the rocks be interested to see because I can't see anything stronger than the rock wall able to be built so if they can just destroy it then it might be worth it just to build nothing but tree houses and connect them all with ropes across the entire island and not build anything on the ground so we'll have to see because I really like to have a couple sediments where I can actually have like grass inside like you know step foot on the floor and be safe but we'll have to see if that's gonna be possible or not running low on rocks here. Anything interesting over here? Not really. I know the time has been kind of dragging on here so we're getting we don't have all the time in the world to just play around. Another section done. Thank gosh these rocks reappear really quickly. Maybe it's just the area I'm in. It's a great location to build something like this out of stone. It needs 71 more rocks, which is not bad. We started with 161 more, I thought, or 150, something like that. We're making significant progress with these little trips. Alright, let's see. Okay, we're doing good. But again, we can't be complacent. We can't be thinking we're ahead of the game here. Because it can all go wrong really quickly. I'm not being disturbed right now, which is allowing me to make great progress. I don't want to use that to my advantage. And uh, get this thing built before it starts getting dark. Then I'm going to have to make a fire. Hopefully it'll rain here soon. Really like it to rain so we can get some water at this location. Alright, we're coming along nicely now. We need 51 more rocks still though. It's a decent, pretty decent amount of rocks. And I can tell just by the amount of shade that's appearing that the sun is going down getting into our afternoon time. Look at how long the shadows are. That's not a natural noise that I'm hearing. It sounds like a baby. There's no like human babies here, so... 41 more rocks. We do have to get off the coast of the camp, but once I get to the point where they can't get inside the wall at will, I'll feel much more safe going and adventuring to the camp and looking for things. Doing good. Getting low on time. Oh gosh. Run, 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 run. Jump, get inside. Alright, I want to see if they can get inside now. Climb! Get up there. Oh my god, is it going to bug out now? Climb! Holy. Alright. So we got to within 32 rocks of being finished. We have our turtle shell. 
We got the edge over there built. We got most of this area all reinforced. There's a gap there. So yeah, there's a pretty decent amount of places they can jump through. So I'm going to drop down here. See if they'll come over the wall. And just keep pushing these rocks in here to kind of sew it up. I have a feeling that they'll, they can jump over if they really want to. Could be wrong, but I have a feeling that they can. See if they'll follow that. No. This is a pretty secure wall. I mean, this is a four or five foot high rock, but they might be able to climb over it. That's the only problem. I just need 27 more rocks, and then I'd feel like they don't have to worry about them getting in. I'm going to climb up. Just in case they want to do their running man thing. I got a long time before I can sleep, so I need them to leave. I'm going to try hiding. I literally need like five or six more loads of rocks. Alright, I got kind of quiet. Alright, did they move on? You need to be really careful here. But if they moved on, I can finish this wall. going to be dark very very shortly. I need to finish this. I need 27 rocks and I can only carry five at a time. All right let's go come on. Rock 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 rock. And they're right around here obviously. That's good. All right there's more here. Doing pretty good on my water. Energy's getting low, but I have snacks. Alright, so I can't carry any more, but I only need 18. Alright, that builds it up some height at least. Alright, alright, we need 12 more. 7. We are right outside their camp, and it's getting dark. Alright, after these we need two more rocks, just as the sun is going down. Last two. Alright, we are done with rocks. build another campfire. Um, let's see. But yeah, by the back end here is where I... Alright, so I'm going to build a campfire. Gosh, it's so dark. I need what? Rocks? Always rocks. That's five, and then I'll have to come back and get two more. Alright, that's enough. Oh gosh, it's dark. And then light the fire. And this will hopefully give me a view when I'm running up to it. If I need to dive inside, since this is my entrance. And it'll hopefully discourage them. And we can light this one too. And I'd like to see if we can keep them from getting inside at all today, or tonight. I know they're going to come, I mean we're right outside their camp. But if they cannot get inside here, and we can keep them out, then... Uh, I mean this is a pretty secure wall, I mean if I walk straight up to it... I mean that's a five, six foot wall. So we may want to consider going one level higher.
or I might even want to consider destroying one part or maybe building another level up because we have our tree houses now right so can we anchor off of this well let's see so we'll go for the we got shelters we don't really need those I can build cabins in here for just for effect I'll build gardens too there they are tree platform. Can I put it on this tree? I can. And I want the, that to be on the inside. That's going to be a great little tower, but the problem is I can't see it from there to connect. So I want one on this one. On the wall, on the corners. Yeah, we'll put one there. And we'll get another one over on this edge. We'll put this on the inside too. Okay. Alright, and then we need one, two more probably. Might as well go for the gusto here, right? I'll kind of rotate them so they can form like a curve. gosh uh, I'm gonna climb up just in case but uh, I want to see if they can get inside now so there's four more platforms so when I build all four of those and connect them then this one right here in the center will be the highest one and then they'll basically just ring the outside edge from the rock all the way to there I can build probably a, a log wall maybe that goes from there to there we'll have to see Oh, I want to build a platform over there if I can. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, five platforms. And if they're all connected with ropes, that'd be quite a few logs. But you know what? What a fortress I'm going to end up having up here. I'll have amazing views in all directions. How long till we can sleep? A decent amount of time. If I might want to build another layer of rock wall. Just because, why not? Yeah, see, they're still getting inside. How did you get in? So it's 148 rocks to get another layer there. I see you in there. What confuses me is how you did it. I'm hungry and thirsty. And I can eat. Twice. I'm going burning through supplies so fast in an attempt to keep this going over here. I need you to walk into my fire, that's what you need to do. And you got in. I don't know how you did it though. I'm interested, like if I jump on this, can I jump up? Oh wow, okay, so what are you doing down there? I see you. I see you. Can you get up that rock? Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, they can jump straight over that second layer of rock wall. So, it needs to be at least three layers for me to have it protected. Well, isn't that exciting? Gosh, I wish it would rain.
Alright, so when I have that rock wall fully finished, I don't think they'll be able to get in. At least, hopefully not. Hmm, we'll have to see. I might have to extend the wall out a little bit more on that edge there. And that one, it didn't go all the way around. But see, I don't think that they're getting up right there. I think they literally just hop straight over the wall itself. It might not be a problem with the rocks behind me. Like that little gap right there, that's too actual small for them to get through. Standing on the rock? Oh gosh. He is. Oh yeah. Oh wow. So this whole fortress is a wash. Those rocks don't mean anything. Huh. Wow. That's a huge investment for like no real <laughs> reward. Yeah, look at that. They just run straight over the rocks. Wow. Well, that's absolutely horrible. So I have to either abandon this location or simply completely enclose the rocks. Well, do I have to enclose the rocks? They're running along that side there, right? Because I don't think they're running up this giant rock here. They might be just going right over there. So if I can build the wall around the rock that's low and get to the point where they, it's only the high wall or a high rock. So I don't think it's a complete loss because I know those rocks do provide a benefit. I think that it's just they can, I have to block off the uh, areas that are close to the ground. So that corner over there is in particular. Like if I look below me here, it's almost solid rock right up to the base of the tree. I don't really see anything down there. And we should be able to rest any second. So when we wake up in the morning, after our rest, we're going to have to run back to our other encampment and drink water. We have no other water to drink. The good news is we have all the ropes we need for these. And it shouldn't be too difficult to extend that wall. If we extend that wall around that corner right there, that should be enough for us to block it off. But... We can't do anything until we rest. How thirsty are we going to be? Oh, that's really not too bad. Alright, so I think this is a good place for us to end this episode. It's been a pretty hectic and crazy uh, couple days here on the island. But uh, we're getting started just as the sun breaks over the horizon here. And we're right on the coast. So we got that beautiful ocean breeze and the birds noises. So this is not a complete loss. We're just going to keep continuing to build up this fortress that we have, and if we have to completely enclose it, then we'll completely enclose it. But until then, I'd like to thank everyone for watching through the entirety of the episode, and I hope to see you all in the next as we continue our adventures on the island, in the forest. Thank you.